A DHL employee has been charged with stealing $60,000 in Nike products. Wow. A former DHL warehouse employee has been charged with stealing Nike merchandise from the company's processing facility in Memphis, Tennessee. After being questioned by detectives, police say Davis has allegedly confessed to the crimes that he was charged with and of theft and property. Theft of property. Davis was released from jail on Tuesday and is scheduled to appear in court next month. So, yeah, he has been charged with stealing around $60,000 worth of like Nike products from the uh, from the delivery company's Fox Meadows warehouse, which isn't very far away from like Nike's North American Logistic Campus, hmm. which is like the primary distribution facility for Nike in right. the U.S. So, I guess the way that he was doing it is he would like print additional tracking numbers with, from like various Nike orders, and then he just didn't ship the shoe. Like he just shipped the shoe to a different address uh. or something like that to get the product. So, I guess they've been able to recover about ten thousand dollars worth of products. They haven't figured out how long it's been going out on yet or anything like that but i mean like you said he's already confessed to the crimes he's awaiting a uh, been released from jail and everything and now he's awaiting court so what do you think about this article i mean dude i mean it's 60k i think it's literally i mean it's <laughs> we knew it was happening i mean it's every time everywhere every, right? every single place yeah, someone's just struggling it, it almost it seems is. like you know it has to be happening because there's so many times we're on twitter and they're like you know when the what was it the travis scott's released and people people said like hey fedex fedex was all over the sneaker twitter hated fedex because there were so many times where fedex lost his package and they didn't know what happened to it and and then i think nike literally saw like what was going on with these delivery services and they changed their packaging so now they don't have that that's black tape to, that's yeah what trying to do is trying so, to make it more discreet it's still got nike stuff on there no though, it so says it's from like, nike but yeah, yeah, yeah. at least at least you know that like it could be a more generic shoe. So what are they supposed risk. to do? Like put down from Reebok? Yeah. Just be like, oh, no one's going to open that. <laughs> no one's going to touch it. <laughs> no one's going to open that from Reebok. But, no, I mean, I'm not surprised. I bet you, I wouldn't be surprised if, if there's even more of those happening. It just sucks, man. It's 60K, dude. Like 60,000. That, like, that's a lot. That's, that's like, what, good five or six pairs now? Like I said, Nowadays? <laughs> it just depends with these new retail prices going up. But like, uh, I just can't, I can't believe like they haven't been able to figure out how long it's going on. He already confessed to the crime. So yeah. like, you know, he was doing it and stuff like that but like how big was the team because that doesn't just happen no. it's not one guy doesn't go down for that this no. is just like a really really smart or dumb guy depending on how you look at it who's able to steal sixty thousand dollars worth of products yeah at least at least they were able to get 10 grand back but i mean still there's 50 grand out there you see i think that's like i mean but if you break it down like say you bring a bag to work that's like stealing a nike jacket maybe once every shift for a year probably looking at sixty thousand dollars worth of money like I mean, just yeah, it's with how it expensive up. some of yeah. the product can be, because we're so we're so interested in shoes, but it's just it just says any type of you know merchandise. Yeah, I'm statements. surprised. So I'm what. surprised DHL even had stuff because like usually I'm pretty sure like Nike does. I don't think I've seen anything come from DHL from Nike. So like, I'm not sure how it happened. But international orders or something, but I, I don't just know. Thought it was crazy how we went through all the like. Like the creating false tracking to yeah. set the separate address. Yeah, he stuff. thought he could just, get away with it. Just how extensive he went into. I mean, no, that's crazy. I, I saw the story break from the very beginning, and I was like, wow, this is gonna be. But I mean, like you said, like if you ever work in like retail and stuff like that, you see it's happening. Like things are getting stolen by customers and by employees. It's yeah. just the way that it is usually. Maybe no. it's like little. Yeah, businesses. Businesses under, always have like you a, have to like yeah account, account for, for it. That, account for it. Yeah, yeah it's in, it's in the uh, margin and stuff like that but i thought that was a really unique like type of story yeah i'm not i'm not surprised i bet you there's i wouldn't be surprised if other other people start I bet, getting i wonder if this there. is making other brands like do a little bit of a deeper dive into like, oh i hope hey, are we missing money here and there i Where hope so be? What's it? i mean because i feel like every once in a while you maybe just kind of let your guard down or just be like i don't really want to deal with one of those cases again well you gotta think not like we're not making money yeah. that's a very like rich mindset like we're making so much money i'd rather not know what we're actually losing right now yeah like, well well, I mean, stuff. I don't think it's that way. I think it's more like, you know, Nike is a billion dollar company and 60 grand to a billion dollars. You know, it's like such a drop in the but puddle. One person can get away with it. Right. How many people right. can get away no, with it? No, they have to definitely. I'm, gl I'm glad they caught the guy. But I wonder if this something like this is where it's going to be like this person got caught. So he's got to do it a little better. 
All right, so I see what they did. They they stole sixty k. That's okay. Oh, I'm sure we can build off that. We just got to be smarter about yeah. it. this and that. Like if it just gives people new Always. ideas on like. I mean, as long as long as we go on Instagram and someone was able to backdoor pairs, like of the patent breads, for instance, I've already seen like some of these sneaker shops already got them in. As long as we keep seeing that, someone's still outsmarted the system. But we'll see. <laughs>